before practice actually starts, you could spend a couple hours a week with them. What are you seeing out of your team so far? You know, last year when we talked, we had 12 new guys, and it was just the implementing of our program and what we were trying to piece together. It was difficult with so many new guys. Everybody was hearing it for the first time, our terminology and everything. And so now the luxury of having eight returners, I mean, that it's huge. It really is. And they've helped the new guys come. And we've created a good bond. I mean, there, there's good chemistry. The guys get along. And it's been a really fun group to work with. Talk about some of the returners that you think are going to end up being the new guys for you this year. Well, you know, it probably starts with Spencer Reeves and Kyle Wolf and Jacob Lawrence, who had a great freshman year. Brad Woodson's had a really good fall, in my opinion. Those guys have been through the wars and the MIAA action that, that is so tough. We took our, our licks last year, and I know that those guys, uh, all the returners are hungry to be better. And we lost so many close games where it came down to a play here or there. There were seven games that we lost that could have gone either way. Unfortunately, we, we couldn't pull those games out. They've kind of pushed the standard, uh, the standard that we want to set here, and they've done a good job of leading the, the new guys and the young guys. Some, talk about some new guys then. Transfers or it, people you know, you think you're going to make an impact? You know, we signed Matt Wilkinson early. He's shown some good signs, and, and Michael Winger. We think that those two guys are a really good freshman for our program. Louis Ryan Miller, who registered the last year, has gotten a, a year under his belt, added some strength, some impact transfers. We feel like Eric Slop done a good job at the point guard position. Deshaun Rice, you know, along with Brett O'Neill, who's returned, who's probably our most improved player, Brett. I should have probably mentioned him with our returners. That's going to be a good point guard battle. Clarence Smith has done a really good job. He he knows how to play. I'm really excited about what he's going here in the next two years, a transfer from uh, South Georgia Tech. DJ Richardson is a, is a really talented wing, a guy that we've waited around for, for a year, you know, uh, just battling some things, and, and so it's good to get him back on the floor. He is a talented individual, a guy that really knows how to play. I really feel like we have some good pieces, that we've mixed some guys, and some guys that put the ball on the floor pretty well with some guys that can put in the basket, catch and shoot guys. So we, I think we're pretty versatile, uh, and we have good pieces. You knew a lot about the conference before you came in because you were a regional coach, and then you had two years under your belt, but two very different years in terms of how things ended up working out. So what do you feel like you learned heading into year three? Coming in, I knew MIAA is probably the best conference in the country, top to bottom. There is no easy nights. There are some great home court advantages, and, and the coaching is, is just very, very good. And you have to be ready to go. You really do. You can't take a night off or you're going to get beat. There, there's great players, there's great coaches, and you have to you have to go beat people. Very seldom does a team just lay down and, and uh, you know, that you're gonna escape by not playing your best. I mean, you, you have to come ready, be ready, locked in, and, uh, and give your best effort to be successful in this conference.